everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a questionnaire in WordPress. You probably know that creating an effective questionnaire is a must if you want to get useful information, opinions, and get feedback from the target audience. With the help of a good questionnaire, you can stay in touch with your audience. It may look a little bit difficult if it's your first try, but Quizmaker and SurveyMaker are here to help you. Questionnaire creation is a task that both Quizmaker and SurveyMaker can manage to do. Now, let's see what features they offer and how we can use them. So the first one is Quizmaker. Quizmaker is the absolute favorite plugin among the um, WordPress users. Uh, this plugin allows users to create interesting quizzes in the most appropriate way. First of all, be sure that you have installed and activated the plugin. Uh, now that you have installed and activated the plugin, this is what your dashboard will look like. There can't be a questionnaire without questions. First, make the questions by clicking on questions from the Quizmaker menu. If you have already created the questions, just insert them or make them one by one. Both variants are super easy. After adding the questions, click on the Quizmaker plugin icon on the dashboard, then on Quizzes. Click on Add New button. This is what you will see. To make an eye-catching questionnaire, you only have to click on Style section. Change the themes, choose the animation for your questionnaire, change the quiz color, text color, add background image, etc. But beside the style of the questionnaire, you must pay attention on the settings section too. The settings section will give you all the possible options that you have. You can activate or deactivate depending on your wish. You can choose how you want your questionnaire to start, whether you want to enable randomizing question options or not, enable question bank, uh, which will order you to take a specific amount of questions. You can group questions by category, etc. So also there's an ability for you to make the questions required so that the participants will definitely answer them. Uh, the name of the result settings option speaks for itself. Uh, click on this section to choose how you want to show the results by percentage or by point or whether you want to hide scores um, or send a message after passing the questionnaire. Uh, show your social media links so that the participants will have the opportunity to follow you and learn more about your product or project. Uh, as the main purpose of the questionnaire is information gathering, not evaluation, you can use the hide score feature. If your questionnaire is designed for a limited number of participants, Quizmaker gives you the ability to limit the users. Limit the maximum number of attempts by clicking on the Limitation Users section. You can give access only the users who are logged in or you can even add a password to your questionnaire by doing that, avoiding strangers. Of course, one of the main purposes of the questionnaire is data collecting. User data, data helps you to collect useful information from the questionnaire, like the names of the participants or what is the average score, etc. Uh, if you are sure that this is not the last uh, questionnaire that you are going to create, make sure to motivate participants with certificates or emails, um, which will include their scores or provide their participation. To activate this option, just click on the email certificate section. Then, design the style and the text for them. But be aware that this option is not widely used for questionnaires. So, the second plugin is SurveyMaker. Uh, if you want to create a questionnaire and get quick feedback, SurveyMaker is another great option for you. As the purpose of the questionnaire is information gathering, SurveyMaker makes this process clear and easy even for those who aren't tech-savvy persons. You will get the opportunity to create unlimited surveys with unlimited questions. All you have to do is again install and activate the plugin. Now, if you are ready, we can begin creating your questionnaire with the help of SurveyMaker. In case you have already decided the title of your questionnaire, add it to the form title space. You are also allowed to add descriptions to your title to make it 100% sure for the participants what is the topic and the purpose of the questionnaire they are taking part in. After adding the title and the description, it's time to add the questions themselves. Here you will see a variety of question types which will help you avoid creating boring questionnaires. 
You can choose between single page and multi page surveys. But of course, multi page surveys are more desirable and suitable for the questionnaires as they engage people. To escape from creating a boring questionnaire, use logic jump function. After the participants answer the current question, this skip logic feature allows you to ask the proper questions and skip the ones that aren't necessary. You can see the sections are the same here, so the features too. The style section is again responsible for the design of the questionnaire. Choose which theme is more likable for you. Choose the background color and make sure your questionnaire is mobile friendly. If you wish, you can also add your service logo here. But there is a section which may sound new to us, uh, it is start page. Uh, here you can give a title and description to your start page. Again, choose the background and the text color, etc. Uh, we know that questionnaires are designed not only for participants' opinions gathering, but also their names or emails, which you may also use in your future uh, projects. Uh, Serving Maker allows you to ask for the participants' names and emails and integrate them into your software with the help of approved integrations such as MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, Google Sheet, etc. But not all participants are ready to share their identities with you. Some of them, sometimes, even the majority, want to stay anonymous. You have a special functionality even for them. Create an anonymous survey and keep your participants' identities private so that they will share their honest opinion with you. Go to the general settings, then after scroll scrolling down, you will see the anonymity survey settings section. Uh, in this section, you will find do not store user's name and do not store user's emails features. Uh, so keep your participants' identities private so they will share their honest opinion with you. So that's all for today. I hope you'll find this information useful. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon. Bye.